So uh, please welcome uh, Priyanka Hadler. Hello, everyone. She is a QA manager at GoodRx, and uh, also thank you to GoodRx for the hosting this nice uh, uh, meetup. A big thanks to go to our sponsor, Apple Tools and Browsdeck, as well for giving us so many goodies. Sure. Definitely. <laughs> All right, and uh, we have a chance to tonight uh, to ask uh, Priyanka about uh, hiring decisions, like based on what. And uh, the very first question we usually ask: What are you looking for in your candidate? Let's say he passed the screen form screening and he is going on your face to face, and what you are expecting to hire. Um, right, so I knew he gonna ask me that question, so I have a whole slide to share with you guys, so, so that I'm not on the spot. Um, it very much depends on the position I'm hiring for, so if you are a QA analyst, I am more looking into your agile related skills, your analytical skills, how good of a communicator you are, um, how you can connect to our developers and product people, um, because you're gonna lead project, right? But when it comes to estates, um, it's more about how your programming skills are, how well you can connect to our QA analyst uh, to make decisions on what test case should be automated and what should not be. So uh, these are some of the points we always look for, um, but it's again very specific to the job requirement. Awesome, thank you. Um, so the next question we usually ask, what is the red flag for you when um, you do interviewing and like let's say what is a no-go for you um, I think we have a very uh, tight knit process in GoodRx when we hire and um, one thing we do is we give out um, homework and a lot of people get eliminated in that round because um, if you are saying you are an estate and you can't code and you just send us a one pager for the whole homework we have given you uh, definitely you will not be selected so that's definitely a red flag um, the other I will say, uh, we have the last round we do is with our CTO and he's awesome. Um, uh, in his phone call, like if he flags us that, okay, this person said X, Y, Z and I don't feel like um, this person will be a good match. So I have really seen like that turned out to be really good. So uh, we have two ways to catch <laughs> who will not be a good uh, match for us. Great, great. And um, any resume hints and tips? Like, what are you? Um, sure, um, I would say that please uh, keep the resume sh uh, short and sweet. Don't send us like 10 page long. We're not gonna read it. <laughs> also, like if you can highlight um, what you have accomplished in your uh, most recent job, and then just tell tell us what are the other um, uh, companies you have worked on. I think that will be enough. Um, uh, I I think in an average, like I see 20 to 30 resumes a week. So like if it is long enough, I'm, that might be a red flag for me, like why you have everything on that. Like I want to meet you, I want to talk to you, to know about you, like resume should not be your whole history. Great, great. Um, so that's pretty much it. Any okay. other questions, guys? About hiring, we are hiring, so I have a estate uh, position open for mobile specific also web, and uh, we are hiring in San Francisco, and also we are hiring here for Q analysts. So if you are in the market looking for a job, please do um, connect with me or send us your resume uh, to jobs at kudarix.com. You also mentioned that you are hiring Q analysts, right? Yes, Q analysts. Okay. Yeah. Um, Any question? This is really a very quiet group. <laughs> she was right. <laughs> That's not how it happens in our previous meetup. Did you guys really drink beers? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Have you, have you like foster career development for somebody who's like kind of analyst level, but is kind of looking for a path forward? Absolutely, good question. Um, so we set goal uh, within 30 days of the person joining and I asked them what their career goals are and we work together to make sure that I have the path for them. Um, to whole, my whole team, like this automation university is compulsory, like they have to go through courses and it's on their performance review. Um, they have to finish few courses. Um, so um, that's about it. We also sponsor conferences, so everybody is uh, encouraged to go and uh, attend at least one conference, up to two conferences, and enhance and come back and share their knowledge. Um, also, like there, 
like at, at least in Budarix there is uh, no uh, blocker like if you need something software books we always encourage to do that we also have awesome team uh, like Vahan and everybody else who are super duper mentors so if you are interested in learning coding like we can give you that path to move from QA analyst to um, SD but it's not gonna happen in your first month like you have to do your job and then move on to the next level What is your advantages? What is? Advantages. Uh, you mean good RX or? Yeah. Um, so uh, I don't know how many people here knows, but we are the number of uh, medical application in App Store. We serve 10 million people uh, a month. So we have uh, really edge the industry we work on and the product we are building. So uh, this is the time to join this company and uh, make change. Um, to the world if you're passionate about healthcare, if you're passionate about prescription drugs, um, if you're passionate about people who can't afford drug today and they have to take uh, tough decisions. Um, and also, um, just go through our website, like the career website, we have the best in-class um, per perks, like 4%, 401k, um, fully paid insurance, and, and I can go on for like maybe 10 minutes, so it's a lot. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like uh, top notch in Santa Monica and even in LA, uh, what we offer here. Yes, yes. When was the last time you were doing an interview and the applicant said something that made you go, wow, I need this person, let's get them? Um, I think it was uh, two years back when I met. Uh, <laughs> when I met, I'll give some few examples, not in GoodRx, but when I met Vahan uh, two years back, um, it was very sudden that we found him. But when he came in and met me in my last company and um, showcased what he could do, uh, that made me wow. And I actually uh, convinced him to join us um, like contract to hire because it was very difficult process in my previous company to hire anybody. So I was not able to hire anyone and he, he had a faith on me, he joined and immediately within a month we could uh, move him to um, uh, full time. So yeah, that was like the really wow moment. Uh, and here also like every time I found somebody like uh, in my, I would, I would say like there was some wow factor that that's why they're here at GoodRx. We yeah, only um, I would say a few people when we give uh, homework for estate and we say like do a normal automation on our website and show us what you can think or for a QA analyst I will give example of Sunita and we said uh, uh, give us a test plan for goodarix.com like very vague requirement and the way they thought about it and they, they did the homework that was really like that's what, what speaks to me like if you can go to that extent and we all are busy in our present job and uh, in our whole, um, like in our own uh, life. So if you have taken that time to learn our tool and uh, did that, um, add, added that wow moment in your uh, homework, that really spoke to me. I have a question. How sure. how quickly you are making decisions when you doing like last round of interview, and you feel like this is a guy. So if if my whole team thinks uh, that guy is a rock star and we need to get him we do it within a day um, and even it happens same day offers uh, if our CTO is available to talk to that person um, uh, but sometimes it do take more time when like our CTO is out and he needs to talk to that person but like then we keep the candidate engaged and know that okay that's the last last round um, that they need to do and we are pretty excited about uh, him or her. All right, I don't have any other questions. Yes. Uh, do you already have a setup for animation? Uh, yes, that's what my uh, presentation gonna talk about. What we do at GoodRx, and uh, Vahan will show you the exact code that we have done in last nine months. Any? Go for it. Who's that? Oh, yes. Sorry. Um. I would not time bound it, it all depends person to person. If you like joined as a um, QA analyst but you are showing me that you like to code and you are continuously coding and checking in codes and you are doing more of a SDA job, I would be more than happy to promote him, like move him to um, SDA job but um, if it requires um, training and uh, 
uh, mentoring and uh, like uh, peer programming, then it will be might be uh, six months to a year. But again, it will all depend person to person. Cool. All right. So if you want to apply, you know <laughs> how to do this. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much. And let's move forward sure. with the uh, second presentation. Sure. All right.